Torsional stress is the main topic of this lesson. I'm Vaid Shahraini and this tutorial has been produced by LessonsForCivil.com. In many cases, the structural members are subjected to stress due to twisting, like this. When we tighten a screw, for example, we apply two equal opposite parallel forces causing a couple. And this couple creates a torsional stress inside the body of the fold. Now let's have a closer look to look what happens inside the bolt when it is under torsional stress. As you can see, the points that are closer to the center will experience a lower amount of torsional stress. In other words, torsional stress starts from zero at the center and gets larger as it takes distance from the center. So if the material remains elastic, we have a linear distribution of torsional stress on any given radius of the circle. In this case, I talked about a circular cross-section. But as you know, we have other cross-sections too. For example, we have white flanges or rectangle cross-sections. The fact is the same for all of these cross-sections. The closer the point is to the center, the smaller amount of torsional stress it will experience. Here is the formula to calculate the amount of torsional stress. Torsional stress donated tau is equal to Tc over J. In this equation, T is the amount of internal torque. And for those of you who are not familiar with the word torque, I should say it is exactly like moment. C is, is the distance between the point and the center. And finally, J is the polar moment of inertia. Ah, polar moment of inertia is actually an indicator of resistance against twisting. And please don't mix it up with the area moment of inertia that you learned in the previous lesson. Area moment of inertia is about resistance against bending moment. But J is something about torsional resistance, okay? For a circular cross section like this, J is equal to PC4 over 2. And here, C is the radius of a solid shaft. For hollow shafts, it is equal to this formula, where C1 is the outer radius and C2 is the inner radius. Other cross sections are actually less practical, but you can calculate the polar moment of inertia based on this table. You can find the PDF version of this table in our website. And about the convention of positive direction, we assume a clockwise torque as a positive torque, while a counterclockwise is negative. Now let's work on a practical example to see how it works. Here is the problem. We have a solid shaft, which is under three different torques. We want to know what is the maximum amount of torsional stress. OK, let's start. As usual, the first step is to draw the free body diagram of the shaft. This is the shaft, and here is the external forces. Now calculate the amount of internal torsion alongside the shaft. Between this area, we have 40 Newton meter, and then it will be reduced by 20 Newton meter. So the maximum torque happens here, and it is about so now the question is how it is going to be distributed inside the cross section. Based on what I said earlier, we have a linear distribution of torsional stress on each radius. It starts from zero at the center, and then it becomes maximum in the outer boundary of the circle. The polar moment of inertia for a solid shaft is PC4 over 2, which is equal to one millennium. So according to this formula, the maximum torsional stress is about two megapascal, and it happens in the outer boundary of the circle. Okay, that's it. Now it's your turn to challenge what you have learned in this lesson and solve this problem. You can send your answers to lessonsforcivil.com to be corrected by us. Now we can call it a day. This was actually the last lesson in material mechanics. After this lesson, we are going to solve about 30 different problems to consolidate what you have learned in these seven lessons. And then you will learn many other tips and hints. So don't hesitate to go to lessonsforcivil.com and download the complimentary lessons for material mechanics. 
Please like and share and put a comment to help us to improve the quality of our lessons. I'm Vaid Shahraini. I'll see you soon.